says. Well, my dad made this, and there's too much peanut butter. And not enough jelly. <laughs> What's up, Badgers? I'm here with Nicholas, one of our foreign exchange students here on campus. Nicholas, how are you liking um, Yosemite High School so far? It's been great so far. Um, I like the teachers. There are some cool teachers. Um, I like the food, the cafeteria food, better than German. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, it's been great so far. Awesome, awesome. And how are you? Like, you feel like you're adjusting to all this new stuff? I think I'm adjusting pretty good. Um, yeah, a bunch of new things, obviously, and it's sometimes it's kind of hard for me with the English part, right. especially in math class. <laughs> yeah. Some hard words, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And are you excited for all the sports and stuff coming? Yeah, I'm very excited yeah. about the soccer season. Okay. There has to be a lot of people watching. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> you have to be there. <laughs> Hey Badgers, I'm going to talk to you about what colors every subject should be, alright? Or your folders at least. Math is always red. Nobody is going to change my mind. Math is red, okay? I'm going to put it down for you. Math is blue. Math is obviously yellow. Math is red. My math would be blue. Blue for, for math. Okay, English is blue. No matter what, and yes, English is blue. Don't be shaking your head in the background. All of y'all, English is blue. English is red. English gotta be yellow. This is red. My English should be red. Come on. English, green. Uh, English should go with blue. English is blue. English is yellow. Science, green. Science is definitely green. When you think of science, look at this. Look at this tree. It's green, all right? And science is green. Science gotta be green. Science is blue. Science would be green. And science is green. Green for science. Science green, of course. All right. We can we can all agree. Science is green. Science brown. Um, history orange. History is orange. Like when you think of like old timey stuff, like rust. Rust is orange, and rust is history. Boom. History is black. History is blue. History gotta be blue. My history would be. History is yellow. And for history, I think it should be yellow. Dude, come on. History, black, 100%. Oh. History should be orange. <laughs> history. What's well, history, man? I'm gonna go with soccer mom, beige, white. What's up, Badgers? Eileen, you just won against Crothers on your birthday. How you yeah! So good! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. How do you feel about the team moving forward? Did you know that Queen Elizabeth's reign over England was about 70 years? That's an incredibly long time for someone to be the ruler of a country. I can't even imagine what it'd be like for me to be in control of a place for 70 years. Speaking of 70 years, my grandpa visited London for his 70th birthday, and he could have swore he saw Queen Elizabeth wave at him outside of her castle. That really touched him in his heart, deep in his heart, because Queen Elizabeth is a queen, not just of London, of females, people in England, and also males. She really, she worked hard to touch everybody around the globe. She was an incredible woman, and we should honor her life and celebrate her. So everybody, make sure to keep her in your thoughts and wear pink on Monday. Hi guys, thanks for watching today's Badger broadcast. Make sure you follow it on Instagram, follow it on YouTube, and a uh, big shout out to my new wife, Tina. Woo, woo, woo. And I'll leave you with a deep thought for today. Why? Why is abbreviation such a long word? See you next time.